Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today on on uh, our session uh, called Success Story, How Kibana Saves the Testers' Lives. Hi, guys. And, uh, yeah, we are here with uh, Sergey Shaikin, um, who is professional, <laughs> I would say, tester. And I would kick off our session with a uh, small intro of Sergey, and then we would go to the uh, presentation itself. And later at the end, that would be a Q&A session. So feel free to ask uh, questions in our Q&A uh, section <laughs> next to the presentation. So yeah, uh, so Sergey, uh, first question for you would be um, uh, with the name of your presentation. Um, have you ever saved somebody's life? Yeah, <laughs> at, least, at least one life. <laughs> it's about me. And mm -hmm. uh, some, of course, sometimes um, I, I show my knowledge to another testers and uh, not only testers and also for developers uh, because it's a common problem uh, for using uh, another tool, uh, not, not, uh, not such as RDP connection or so on. And it's difficult for them, uh, and I'm trying to explanation uh, about uh, my position. <laughs> okay, I see. Thanks. Um, and also, with you being speaker, like, have you ever felt like a speaker since you were like born, or has this came some like naturally to you, like during your professional years? Um. It's interesting question, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, it's very difficult for me uh, to answer a lot of a lot of thoughts about that. And uh, <laughs> mm. yeah, I see. So, are you a seasoned speaker now? Like, have you done a lot of sessions, or this this would be your first one? Or I guess it's first one. Uh, not actually just first one, but uh, in this way, it, it's a first for me. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> we are lucky to have you then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool, cool. No, another question would be a more simple one. Um, are you more of a coffee drinker or tea drinker? What gets you in the morning? Yeah, uh, I used to. I used to drink... Um, tea uh, and I hate uh, to drink uh, coffee mm -hmm. <laughs> but now I, I prefer to drink water because it's more more useful for my healthy <laughs> I guess <laughs> yeah yeah to the basics I think that would be completely same uh, same story with with me <laughs> and my, my doctor my doctor said me uh, stop drinking tea uh, because it's bad for your health. <laughs> oh, really? Really? I yeah. always thought that the tea is like the... I don't know why, but uh, he said it. <laughs> okay. Okay, gotcha. Uh, actually, I would also like to remind uh, you uh, listeners that uh, we have a game here. Uh, you can uh, catch a secret uh, phrase, as you probably know, and then uh, write the answer to the organizers. And I think with that said, we can uh, we can start the presentation. So Sergey, the floor is yours. And um, yeah, looking forward. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I really honored uh, to be here on this uh, wonderful conference. And um, let's start. A little bit uh, about me. My name is Sergey Shaikin. I'm a software tester and I'm working uh, in the department dealing and risk platform. I'm testing uh, backend of our system and uh, I respond uh, of all dealing process and uh, business process in, in the whole. Uh, my company is Libertex Group. Um, um, it's, a, it's a financial services uh, in the Forex, uh, Forex market. 
and uh, more details about me as a tester. <laughs> I started to work uh, in Cybersoft in uh, January uh, 2015. And um, after a while, I decided to be as, as a freelancer and uh, I'm leave my company and uh, working as a freelancer almost three years uh, on the different uh, crowdsourcing platform. Uh, most of this uh, was uh, utest.com. Mm -hmm. After that, I moved uh, to St. Petersburg uh, R&D department uh, for uh, Electrolux AB. And now I'm in Montenegro and working in a Libertex group. <laughs> and uh, I am pretty happy with that. Uh, also about me uh, that I, I, like, I like sightseeing of different countries and the cities and that's why uh, we are traveling a lot with my family and uh, I like to organize uh, it myself without travel agency because I like uh, independence. <laughs> uh, that's it for me. Uh, Today's agenda. We will talk uh, about testing of backend. Uh, also, we will uh, review some uh, log aggregation tools. Uh, next, we switch to uh, Kibana as a part of Elasticsearch. And uh, we try to uh, discover all Kibana and uh, try to understand how it'd be uh, more comfortable for your life. And of course, we will have uh, some uh, real examples. And uh, if it will be possible, I will show you uh, a video, a recorded video of a demo, demo of Kibana, demo version. Uh, that's it. Uh, uh, first of all, um, I'd like to ask you uh, to do something for me. Uh, close your eyes and imagine your uh, first uh, testers, uh, test, testing work, uh, first your job in the testing. Uh, what uh, was it be? Maybe it's uh, may, maybe it's a different application or website. Um, I guess uh, it it was be not so difficult uh, because uh, most of testers uh, started their career from uh, easiest way. Uh, it's a front end. Uh, front end. It's a uh, very understandable and uh, for each other uh, people because uh, we are using um, we are using every day and every <laughs> and on every devices uh, surfing uh, surfing uh, by the internet and so on. But we also have a backend. And backend, it's not so easy uh, because uh, we didn't see we can touch backend and so on. Um, that's why I guess it's very, very difficult, but it's difficult to develop and it's more more difficult to test because you need to understand what happened, uh, why it happened, um, you know, all processes uh, you should you should be like a developer a business analyst and tester in in one person <laughs> at all at one time and uh, what does it mean backend backend it's a, a different uh, different um, application or services that uh, connected to database, uh, they are uh, sending to a request to database and to client. Uh, 
read this uh, information, um, edit and uh, write to database uh, back. I think it's all the backend. Uh, and uh, of course, we are using uh, for this connection special language uh, API requests and responses, and uh, with which uh, with uh, which requests and responses we are try to test backend uh, and uh, try to analyze uh, a different uh, different uh, behavior of our uh, services and applications. And of course, uh, dream of testers uh, is a, a green color because uh, a lot of uh, a lot of um, auto tests uh, has been failed, and it's not uh, it's not easy to analyze these uh, reasons and uh, try to understand. We spend a lot of time. And when, when can we see uh, uh, green color? We are happy and we can move uh, forward and uh, not only with tasting, but uh, to, uh, to production also. But also we have a nightmare of a tester, uh, for example, um, 500 error. And what should we do with this error? Um, I guess we should analyze, uh, not just, uh, not just uh, create a bug report. We try to understand what happened. Maybe uh, some services uh, left uh, memory, uh, leak memory. And uh, that's why uh, we are we have uh, we are having uh, such error, and uh, we try to restart uh, our services. And uh, maybe it's uh, our environment is unstable. It's not a bug. It's just uh, just a problem of our environment. And that's it. And that's why we need to understand uh, our error and uh, try to reproduce. And after that, we will uh, report a bug. I think it's a, the, a good tester's behavior. <laughs> but uh, what to do? Uh, how can we analyze our error? And uh, where can we find information about this error uh, for our analysis? Um, before we... Uh, start our bug report, we try to analyze and uh, try to uh, solve a problem by yourself. And the log will help us with that because uh, it's uh, like uh, reading the book uh, and very interesting for tester. And uh, well, uh, Logs uh, will help us um, with trying to understand our error and so on. But uh, where can we read our logs? Maybe we should uh, ask our developer or DevOps uh, <laughs> try to read our logs. Uh, not at all. We have. Uh, one way for this, we can uh, remote desktop. Uh, we can use a remote desktop protocol, and uh, we can use we can read uh, our log um, right on the instance, and um, we try analyze and so on. It's it's uh, it's all about uh, Windows machine. I mean. I guess uh, for Lin uh, a Linux uh, service uh, server, also we have such possibility. But we are talking about Windows machine. But what to do if uh, we have uh, more than two testers in the, our team, and we all are working um, 
at the same time at this uh, at the same instance and we try to uh, to deep testing and uh, we try to uh, analyze our error but uh, we need also to ask and our testers uh, log out from the instance and uh, it's not uh, it's not comfortable for testers i guess that's why we have such problem and uh, of course rdp uh, uh, have such possibility but we need to pay uh, for uh, the server license and uh, not all the com all companies um, will agree with testers uh, to pay uh, extra money for uh, this <laughs> possibility and uh, what the next way Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, about uh, I'm talking about RDP license. Uh, we need to pay uh, Microsoft uh, uh, company, and we have uh, we will have uh, possibility to work uh, remotely. Uh, anyone, uh, uh, a, a lot of testers. And uh, another way is. Um, uh, log visual, visualizations uh, to visualization tools. Uh, first of all, uh, we talk. Uh, we will talk uh, about Kibana, but uh, also we have a lot of another uh, tools uh, such as uh, Splunk. Uh, I guess it's uh, uh, most popular in the United States and Europe. But uh, I heard uh, from our testers in the um, Russian Federation and, and our countries, but Splunk is a very uh, interesting uh, tool. Uh, next one is a gray log. Um, I am not. Um, I am not using it, but uh, I guess it's very interesting uh, because it's. Uh, in in my search uh, is in the top of uh, uh, five uh, visualization tools. Also Fluent uh, D, uh, I am not using and uh, Grafana. It's very interesting uh, tool. Uh, also um, also provide uh, some possibility for uh, monitor of uh, instance. It's very useful. Uh, you, you should not, uh, you shouldn't uh, um, enter to instance, uh, just open Grafana and analyze. But uh, let's talk uh, about uh, Kibana. Kibana is a part of uh, Elastic uh, Search stack. Um, it consists of uh, a log stash, which uh, collect and transform our logs uh, from the instance. Also, we have uh, Elastic Search is an aggregator. Uh, which uh, provides search and analysis and finally we have a uh, visual, uh, uh, visualize manager uh, this is kibana uh, kibana is uh, such a kind of uh, web uh, service but also we have possibility to install application to your machine And um, of course, uh, I'm I love uh, Kibana because it's uh, changed my life and in, in the better side because uh, I'm not using uh, and uh, it's difficult to uh, come out from comfort zone and uh, to change your uh, your habits and so on but when we, we try to use kibana uh, you uh, will understand that uh, 
uh, a lot of possibility for example uh, analyze uh, your log in the time in the time period and uh, try to understand what uh, will happen uh, maybe some uh, some uh, wrong release uh, uh, and uh, maybe someone else and uh, now I am using Kibana in my daily work and I'm happy because uh, I don't need to uh, bother up to our testers um, to try to ask them uh, uh, log out from instance and uh, uh, this kind of things. I think next we can um, we can move forward to interface of Kibana. Uh, we have a uh, possibility to create uh, uh, your uh, visualize uh, table and um, you can see here uh, for example responses uh, 200, uh, 404 and uh, 503 uh, three, uh, three kind of responses in percentage bar and of course we can uh, we can create uh, some filter um, for another another uh, keywords and uh, we can change uh, we can change timestamp uh, and time period uh, when we try to use your search. Uh, reading a logs in Kibana is very interesting. Uh, you can uh, press uh, in hamburger menu uh, discover uh, discover tab and uh, try to search your ID of uh, maybe uh, ID of, of, of different operation. Uh, when uh, happened error and uh, we can see um, we can see time chart and uh, analyze how it how it frequently happened and also you you can uh, choose a different uh, time period uh, we, of course we have uh, some default time periods it's very uh, useful uh, for searching and when you hurry up <laughs> Uh, of course, we can uh, select different environment, uh, for example, dev environment or maybe a pre-production environment. Uh, we can uh, combine uh, some different instance uh, with which environment and search uh, like this uh, on this uh, slide. Uh, also, we have a uh, possibility to create dashboard your own or uh, select uh, from dashboards uh, created your colleagues, uh, testers or developers and analyze uh, during uh, some kind of time uh, this error. It's very uh, useful when you try when you try to preparing to release and analyze uh, all logs on on the all instances uh, and uh, on the all uh, environments. You of course we can we can have possibility to filter uh, here and uh, uh, try to research uh, uh, some uh, log uh, some error. Uh, and what about RDP? Uh, some of guys uh, like to use RDP because it's uh, uh, it's very use, uh, very easy to read uh, our logs. And Kibana uh, provides such possibility. You can click uh, when you find your uh, log uh, with your error. Uh, we can click arrow. Uh, next, uh, next this log and uh, click uh, view surrounding documents, and you can see uh, logs like on instance. Uh, 
by default uh, we have loaded uh, five logs and that you can you can change uh, quantity of logs before and after uh, by typing here your uh, quantity and uh, click uh, button load uh, but um, um, one uh, one more in the Kibana, we have uh, old lock in the button and newest lock uh, in the top instead of uh, RDP. I, 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 I'm talking about a Windows machine. It's uh, uh, some difference between Kibana and uh, uh, locks on the instance. Uh, yes, we have a uh, demo version and we can try to uh, use demo version before we can use in the your team. And if it's possible, I can I can uh, stop share uh, my presentation and come back later. And now if I have time, I, I'd like to uh, show you demo version. Is it okay? Second. Uh, can you see demo version of uh, Kibana? I see just a white line right now. White line. I'm. S um, just a second. Maybe desktop and now yes now we can see oh okay thank you yes we have a demo of of, uh, of kibana uh, what i'm talking about uh, discover we can press a button discover and uh, search uh, Search uh, different um, uh, different keywords. Uh, for example, uh, we have a search uh, operation system of machine, and we uh, we are searching all uh, logs with um, Windows machine. What I'm talking about, uh, we can we can try to use like uh, logs like RDP, uh, for example, pressing buttons, new surrounding documents, and uh, uh, by default we have uh, five uh, row before and five row after our uh, our searching log. Uh, press uh, another quantity and tap button load and we have uh, a little bit more uh, logs our uh, searching log is a gray uh, row and also uh, we have possibility to expand uh, our log and try to analyze uh, uh, and check detailed information about our log. We have also possibility to filter. Uh, for example, we uh, press a plus button, and uh, maybe if you if you don't need uh, such uh, kind of index, uh, you can press a minus button also. Um, what else? Um, maybe like this, and we sorted all. Uh, we have a filter uh, in this uh, uh, top arrow. 
And of course, we can uh, delete this filter and uh, come back again. But next, uh, just a second. Here we can uh, have uh, we have uh, default uh, time period, and uh, we can use this and uh, click button refresh and load uh, our um, logs. Uh, and visualize library. And I was talking about in the presentation, we uh, already have uh, created a library uh, from another uh, team members. And we can search uh, here, uh, for example, response, and try to use, uh, Bar. You can use uh, this library and uh, analyze uh, what happened uh, with our instance. Uh, that's it. Uh, and uh, we also uh, have possibility to create uh, uh, your own library. But uh, mm, here we can also enter uh, keywords. Uh, click button plus, add your keywords and uh, uh, change uh, your uh, chart type, uh, what you are prefer. But uh, now we can uh, we can save uh, because uh, and because this is dem demo and uh, it's not possible it's not possibility uh, for a saving. Uh, but uh, in your uh, daily work, uh, its button it, it button will be enabled. Of course, we have uh, possibility to download your your search results as a common separated, common separated value uh, file and uh, analyze uh, or uh, send to another uh, colleagues or uh, management, uh, your management. Um, here it is, um, not much, but we have, um, we have uh, a response um, code and the quantity of records uh, with response. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, we have possibility to uh, create your own default value uh, for uh, loaded, uh, for loaded, um, uh, quantity of logs. Mm -hmm. Default row. No, not at all. Okay, I don't know where it is, but I guess it is, it will be here uh, when we can. Uh, uh, change your uh, default quantity of logs. Uh, ah, here. We also uh, not possible. Uh, I'm not possible to change because it's demo version. But here is a default content uh, size uh, step and content uh, size number. You can create your own by default. It's also useful. Um, I guess uh, that's it. Maybe
uh, here's a QR code of uh, demo version. You can try to uh, use uh, on your on your desktop or laptops. And here I'm trying to upload video, but it failed. And the question and answer session. Uh, I am happy to answer your question. So first of all, Sergey, thank you so much for this amazing presentation. Uh, I think it was really well put together and well structured. And I had a good laugh here and there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think we can go to the Q&A. Uh, I think the presentation was quite clear, so there aren't much of the questions. So we would be able to answer an address. Um, I think all of them. So first of those is from Louisine. Um, and the question is, how is RDP connected to APIs? Uh, they are uh, connected. Uh... Uh, from uh, from protocol uh, and uh, I guess uh, from protocol to uh, TCP IP and um, maybe uh, maybe no no not TCP IP uh, restful protocol. I guess I'm not sure, but uh, as I remember, but, uh, that's why uh, for connecting. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, the second question would be uh, from Igor. Uh, the question is, what is the best practices to work with filters in Kibana? Yeah, I already shown uh, in uh, yeah. my presentation, but uh, we also have a <clears throat> possibility to create a uh, very difficult, uh, uh, very difficult searches in Kibana, and uh, uh, we have also uh, Kibana EQL, um, and we have a page. Uh, I'm just uh, uh, sharing. For uh, Kibana query language. And uh, we can create a uh, um, very difficult uh, searches. Um, and uh, uh, for example, items, uh, name, and uh, quantity in stock. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, I'm not using in my daily work uh, because I don't need it. But maybe if you are testing uh, a front end, uh, maybe you uh, you can create uh, such uh, uh, such big uh, requests and. Uh, I think um, this is very useful uh, page uh, from uh, Elastic. Great, thanks. I can, I can send uh, to the chat uh, this link. Yeah, I think that would be great. Um, and uh, to the last question then um, from Svetlana, uh, that will be, have you ever tried to compare Kibana to Splunk or Grafana? What are the major differences between them? It's very interesting question. Um, I think, I, think um, I will try in the future because I heard uh, from a lot of testers about Splunk and a uh, very interesting uh, tool. And also I heard about uh, some kind of visualization tool uh, from Yandex. And also, uh, I, I will uh, try to compare uh, these uh, tools. But I have, I have only experience uh, with Kibana and Grafana, but I'm using Grafana for uh, control our, just for control our uh, 
services and instances because uh, not for uh, not for reading the logs unfortunately <laughs> Okay, great. So I think that would be to the to the questions and answers. Uh, is there something else you want to add, Sergey? Uh, yes. Uh, where can I send a link of? I guess uh, that's it. Uh, if you will have another question, I'm I'm happy to have you in my list uh, of friends in the LinkedIn, and uh, here's a QR code uh, of uh, my LinkedIn profile. Uh, and uh, uh, that's it. Thank you for your attention. Great. Uh, thanks a lot, Sergey. Uh, really you. enjoyed. Uh, also for the others, I'm sending uh, a link to our Discord chat where you can uh, do some text chit chat, chit chat if you want afterwards after our session. Um, there is like follow follow up to uh, most of the sessions presented here today. And uh, yeah, we hope you enjoyed the session and we welcome you to uh, join uh, others as well. And yeah, thanks a lot. And what about uh, uh, pre presents for uh, or gift uh, you are talking about uh, uh, on the fine on the mm -hmm. yes yes so there was a, a secret uh, phrase uh, oh. hidden on your presentation uh, if some of you noticed uh, so again if you got it uh, feel free to send it. Uh, to uh, to us uh, or to the organizers of this whole event, and the first three ones uh, are getting a prize. Okay, thank you. Yep, and uh, that's it. I think that's a wrap. Uh, again, thank you, Sergey, for your thank time you. and your knowledge. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao.